Hey everyone, welcome back to more Warhammer 40,000 Sanctus Reach. I am Disturbing Puppet. We're going to be continuing our Orc campaign today. We're getting down to kind of close to the end. We've got a skirmish up today. I think we've got four skirmishes than the last story mission. So we're just going to get a skirmish out of the way today. Uh, there is a lot of construction noise going on above me. I do apologize. I'll try to time it for when they're not so loud, but uh, just, I can't win. No matter what I do, they're always noisy. All right, so in this DLC, we actually have some information we want to pick skirmishes. So let's take a look and see what we've got. All right, so enemy holds multiple defensive positions. Mission is large, force is large. So mission just is map, basically. Uh, this we have very large, very large. Uh, so this is attrition. Both sides hold equal defensive positions. Take the enemy victory points while defending your own. Uh, large and large. Both sides hold defensive positions. Capture neutral victory points to gain the advantage. And very large, very large. Also, attrition, basically the same thing we just read before. Um, probably just do something large today, I think. Going against defensive positions or neutral victory points. Let's go for neutral ones. That way they're not going to be right on top of me right at the beginning. When we go back, it'll be the same choices. It's not going to change or anything when I reload and come back into the campaign or anything, I th think. In the regular campaign, it seemed like the skirmishes were sort of random, and this we can actually see all that additional information. We couldn't see that in the main campaigns as the Space Wolves, but in this we can actually see like map size, force size, we can get a little bit of briefing, just an idea what we're getting into beforehand, whereas playing as the Marines, we wouldn't get it until we pop into the map and the army selection screen, like we're going to get to here in a second, as long as it loads. All right. Orcs hold positions in the west, Space Wolves hold positions in the east. A clash over key central locations is inevitable. Control the most victory points and the train limit runs out. We've got a lot of kind of hilly areas here. So that's going to interfere with uh, movement. So this kind of terrain here, you can kind of see, this actually counts as cliffs, and we can't move across that. Uh, flyers and stuff can fly over it, skimmers and that kind of thing. Um, so for us only, like our death copters and things can go over that. Otherwise, we have to go up like here. Uh, there's a way up there. So this might be a little bit tricky to get around. I've got a lot of wreckage and stuff as well I'll have to deal with. A lot of line of sight issues. So we do have our super cannon available, but I'm not sure we're going to get a lot of good line of sight shots with it. Um, we could put it somewhere up high potentially and then try to use it from there. But yeah, angle and stuff is going to be kind of weird. It is 4,000 points. It's a pretty decent size. Um, we do have some good units here it looks like. Uh, I'm going to plan on taking the super cannon, I guess. Uh, it's really good at taking out some of the heavy armor targets and stuff that the Marines have, so things like Terminators, uh, their Predator tanks, that kind of thing. Flash kits are pretty darn good. So these guys have extra shock damage, so just extra morale damage when they hit. Well, they are cyborgs, so they have some extra blister protection and armor. They paint targets, essentially, with the cleva ammo and have extra accuracy. All that's very, very good. They're actually maxed out. Level 4 is the max. These guys have super range find us, extra range and accuracy, more DACA, so we double our attacks for the turn, but it does have a cooldown quite long and extra accuracy. All that's really good. It's kind of the orc equivalents of like heavy bolters, essentially. Um, they are not good at all in close combat, but otherwise they can take a little bit of a beating. Okay, we've got some killer cans. Uh, we've got a variety of knobs and mega armor, all of them I really like. Uh, mech guns might be quite useful. We just have one, it looks like. Let's take you. You've also got more DACA. War Bikers, also really, really good, mainly because I picked up some armor penetrating rounds here, so the armor piercing really helps. This is really, really effective at killing off the heavily armored Marines. Unfortunately, I haven't picked this up. These upgrades as you level up are kind of random. This is like the only unit I've got that has that. These guys have some extra armor. Um, otherwise, even without that, they're fairly decent. So the war bikers, you can see the accuracy is pretty decent. Piercing's 40, which is okay, so that's kind of armor penetrating. We could maybe take you. They are really frail and can't take a lot of shots, but these guys do have some extra armor, so that might keep them alive. The death copters might be pretty useful. Um, unfortunately, they're super weak. Even just a regular marine squad can just shoot them out of the sky without a problem. We do have a couple that are close to leveling up, so we could try to maybe take them and see if we could get them to get an upgrade. So let's plan on taking you guys. They do have the rocket launchers as well, which have a decent range for orcs at 8. And more killer cans. I do like the big shooters because they are good, decent amount of armor penetrating rounds. Um, 
And I'll take that. You maybe. Combo Scorching Knob is kind of my shooty knobs. Um, they also can flamethrow stuff if it's close. Not so sure. I've mainly been using a lot of the sluggas and stuff. Do I have a battle wagon? I don't think so. Do have a runt herd, so we could throw out some uh, swarms of Gretchen if we want a few. And you actually have some experience. So yeah, let's take you out. I've only used the runt herd once or twice. No, actually, that's not you. That was you. So the runner doesn't have experience, so maybe. Maybe we'll take him out. It's 100 points. It's pretty cheap. Um, Storm Boys. We've got some Storm Boys that have leveled up. These guys are maxed out. These guys have equivalent of melt bombs Got crack grenades. Can heal themselves. Paint targets. We could take you. You guys have just a regular grenade and a crack grenade. That's decent. If we need to kind of rush in and grab an objective really quick, that's a good way to go. War buggies, okay. I mainly use them to scout. Um, they can take a little bit of a beating, but not too much. So could maybe use you as a scout. Yeah, I don't see battle wagons unless I totally missed it. I do have more Defcoptas. These guys, the Mega Blasters, are a bit shorter range and only four range. So it's a little harder to use. Uh, basically, you have to use them as kind of hit and run. Otherwise, they're just going to get destroyed. The rocket launchers have a bit longer range, decent weapons. All right, let's look at my Mega Knobs. So better close combat on those guys. These guys, extra ranged attack. These guys, extra ranged attack and marking targets. These guys, close combat. Um, I think we can kind of fit you in. Let's see here. Might want to just go with some killer cans now. I have anybody. He's about halfway to leveling up, so that's not a bad idea. We might be able to get him to level up and get some experience. So let's give you a sh shot here. Um, yeah, this just kind of means that I have a chance to ignore shields on the enemies, which isn't terrible. So we could take you, I guess. Nope, we can't. Not quite enough points. 210. I could pull something else. Like, I could pull the Run Herd out or something for that. Um, yeah, I don't know how effective the Run Herd's honestly going to be in this, Gretchen. I might be better off with a Killer Can. Yeah, I don't think the infantry is going to really do that much for me. Let's grab the Killer Can instead here. So 30 points. Can I afford anything for 30? No. Um, we could pull out the war buggy and grab something else, uh, like maybe the knob. I don't think I've actually used the knob much. What do you have? So we have rally ability, and we've actually got crack grenades. That's not bad if you can survive and get close to the enemy. I do like the idea of having somebody scout, but I do have the Death Copters and the Storm Boys. We could kind of use them to scout and then run away. Yeah, I don't know how effective anything's going to be. I wish that it was like you could actually pick Gretchen or something for like maybe 10 points, <laughs> 5 points, 10 points, something like that. It'd be nice to kind of fill out the, the squads and things. 40 seems to be the cheapest stuff that I've got. Um, we're picking a lot of kind of heavier elite units here. I don't have a pain boy available to me. It'd be nice to have that just so we could heal up some people if they get shot up. But yeah, it seems like that's going to be about it. I think we'll just call it, call it good at that. <clears throat> All right. So we can kind of do some... Uh, moving you guys around, redeploying. One thing that I don't like in the story missions is that I can't redeploy my squads. So I'm just kind of looking at the models. I don't usually see them from that direction, so kind of looking. All right, what do we have? So we are on an objective there. There's an objective there. So this is neutral. Nobody's controlling it. So two neutrals and then three space marine ones in back. These hills are going to cause all kinds of havoc, but we are pretty far up here. 
There's a path kind of around back to that Space Wolf objective. Um, I think we can get up high here. I can't tell if this is high or not. I really wish this was more uh, see-through. When I'm trying to figure out where I want to place stuff and where I want to move, when I can't see that part of the map, it's really hard to tell what details are where. This is pretty open, so that could be probably an easy one we could go grab. All right, let's put... Let's get my artillery a bit more central. Put our death copters kind of more central as well. We can kind of decide where we want to go depending on where the enemy shows up. I think we're going to have probably Marines coming straight down this path at us. That would be my guess. I'm going to put you out here on the flank and kind of take a look out there. Just to do some scouting. Do I take another death copter? Where's my other death copter? There it is, hiding in the back. All right. All right, super cannon. Where do I want you? Probably central as well. They can't actually come at me uh, because of these cliffs and stuff here unless they want to send assault troops at me. So let's just kind of hang out up here on the edge of the cliff. Don't have a lot of heavy stuff out here, so let's put at least one kilo can on this side. Kind of hide there behind the hill for now. There shouldn't be Marines that close to me, so I should be okay. When you play as the Marines, the Orcs always get first turn. When you play as the Orcs, the Marines always get the first turn. So you have to kind of keep that in mind. If you're out in the open up too far um, and the enemy is deploying close to you, they've got better range than you do, and they're just going to tear you apart. I have a couple there. You there. Let my flash gets around anyway. I think we'll put you more central. Kind of hide you in cover. Storm boys, let's just kind of hang out wherever in cover. Basically for them, I want to go in, toss grenades, and run away. Uh, that's kind of the best use for them against most marine units. So these war bikers, right, these are my armor-penetrating war bikers. Hit and run is the name of the game with them. We'll kind of keep them back a little bit for now. Uh, over here, we can kind of plan on doing the same. And we've got multiple knobs and mega armor we can kind of have hanging out. Grab that objective and just hold on to it with them, probably. Although we want to keep them from grabbing this. So that's Cliff. They can come around down here. So let's put you there for now. Once we get in the mission, it'll be a little bit easier to see where they might have access from. All right, I think that's probably good. I don't think I missed any units in the back, did I? All right, looks all right. Uh, this left force is a bit weaker, but we do have some units in the center. We've got some faster units with the death copters and the bikers here. We could potentially send there if we need to. Already getting shot up. So he wasn't that far away, but the land speeders do have a lot of movement. Might be able to gang up on that land speeder and take it out. Is that actually, did I put you in cover? No, that was rough ground. I should have paid more attention. I thought that was cover. All right, we've got a land speeder we can target. We've got the tools to do it. We don't see anything else. So, I'm not sure what you're going to see from here because of this crap. I might want to destroy some of this, but then again, I might want it for cover if I move up there. All right, you guys are tough. Let's hop over the hill. Oh, we've got multiple land speeders, and we've got a rhino. Rhino's got nobody in it, though, all right? We do have kind of a 
possible flank shot there, but he is pretty far away, so we're not going to have a good chance to hit. That's a 90%. That's 35. 80 actually isn't too bad in the back, but at this kind of range, we're already having damage fall off and stuff, so let's just hammer this guy. These land speeders are really good at uh, killing infantry. So I want to do everything I can to take them out. Alright, not a ton. We used our ability there, have an extra shot. Okay, you're going to get shot if you move into here. I don't know if I'd have a shot anywhere else. That's all cover. So I'm not sure if I can see through that to hit them. I can see them from here. A very low chance to hit. Here, I probably can't see them because this is right in the way. Let me just see if I have a shot. All right, I do. Oh, we got Terminators back here. That's a problem. Terminators for orcs are actually really hard to deal with. Uh, wow, that's a 5% chance to hit. Uh, that is awful. That's 80. I think I'll take the 80, I guess, even though we're going to have damage fall off. We are hitting them in the flank, so it might do a decent amount of damage. And I'll take my extra shot here, why not? There is a cooldown on that. So just kind of whittling that a little bit. I don't suppose you're in range of my artillery. It's awfully far away. Yeah. Just gonna move up. I might find something else over there we could target. All right, I do have my war bikers here. These guys are my extra armor war bikers, though. They're not my anti-armor unit. I might want to move them over. Can I get over? I have to go all the way back around. Or we can go up and over, but I don't know what's there. So we'll check that out, and then we might send them over to the left. We might send some death copters as well to help out. You could probably take out the land speeder or two, maybe. Let's see what my killer can can do. What kind of shots do we have here? 5% is really awful. 80% is not bad. And 40. All right, I guess we'll just go for the rhino. I really. Not that concerned with the damage the Rhino's going to do. But I have such bad accuracy that I've got to go for whatever I can go for. Alright, I'd like to move in, get some shots, and then run away. So let me see what I can hit from here. Terrible. He's got too much protection. He's kind of actually down. He's not on top of any cover, and he's got cover next to him. So you're 50. You're 100, so we could almost definitely take out the Rhino, but the Rhino's not honestly going to do a whole lot to me. And 40, that's already going to be dealing with damage fall off. Um, let's take a probing shot at the land speeders to see what we can do. That was not fantastic. Fine, hit the Rhino. Yeah, hitting him in the front armor, just not doing much. Gonna back off, hopefully being hidden. I do have my war buggy, but he's not gonna do much damage at all. That is cover. I kinda move in here. But I don't have a shot at anything. And I can't get through to kinda get a flank shot. I could move up and get shot myself. Uh, there is cover in the way, so he might take a bunch of shots and miss with a bunch of them. But if he hits me, that war buggy's toast. And mainly I want you to scout, so that's not really helping much. So let's hold off and see if we can see anything else. Let's try to send the other war bikers over, probably. So here... Let's have you head this way, looking around. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's probably fine. 
you start heading up towards the objective. You don't see anything. Cover, that is cover. Alright, just take that cover and hole up there for now. I'm kind of, like I said, expecting Marines to come down from this position kind of straight at us. You can hide behind him for now. I don't know that I'm really going to get much use out of my artillery and my super cannon here just because of the height differences and placement of all of the terrain. Could start moving up a little bit with you. Let's have our death copters get moving. Let's just kind of head over, hanging out in the back where we're at least somewhat safe. It's going to take us a little while to get over there, but those land speeders are going to be a problem. Got to try to deal with them. I hate having you walk out into the open, but I kind of want to get visibility out here. Just sending these guys to look first. I don't see anything. So let's tear our way around. Hope we don't get ambushed by something coming down this way. We should be far enough away here that he's not going to see me yet. Have you head up probably on to the objective? So you guys, let's just head back on the cover for now. Other storm boys, let's let's move up here. We've got kind of a safe spot. We're kind of hidden. So if things do come down, we can maybe try to pop out, toss a grenade, run away, that kind of thing. Um, these guys unfortunately don't have a shot at anything. They're awfully far away. You don't have a shot at anything either. But anything coming down this way, we should be able to hit. Uh, anything coming this way we should be able to hit. I'm just not sure if we can draw them over. If they want to come hardcore over here, this is kind of where I'm weakest, unfortunately. So yeah, I'll head the bikers and the death copters over to kind of help this side. They're probably going to do some damage to me now. Getting a few reaction shots off. Actually, quite a few off. Trying to get by me and getting back to the objective. Terminators. Terminators and Storm Bolters can throw out a lot of lead. So that's a problem. Land Speeders can throw out a lot of lead. That's a problem. Dreadnought, also a problem. Yeah, it looks like they're sending the bulk of their forces over here on the left, or I'm the weakest. And Missile Teams, great! Definitely getting pounded a bit. Not seeing anything anywhere else. That Rhino did head over here, but he's already damaged, so we should be able to take him out. I need some more firepower back here, though. So I do have you in range. You are so close to being dead. All right, you guys can very easily, if we be careful about our pathing here, at least get a flank shot here. Well, that's something. Okay, you 
Uh, actually, because he changed his angle, I can now kind of drive up around him and shoot him in the butt if I want to. The missile teams don't get overwatch. Um, the other units do. Uh, some of the heavy weapons and things don't. Uh, only heavy bolters, I think, actually get reaction fire. Uh, flamers don't. Missile teams don't. So if I move up here, I'm probably stuck. Yeah, speaking of heavy bolters, there's some heavy bolters. Almost got killed. We've got regular bolters up there as well. All right, let's just fire some shots here, see if we get lucky. We are getting flank hits here. I'm going to take all my shots. I was hoping we could take it out with them, but not have to waste an action with anybody else. So that's just rough ground. And yeah, just try to get away. If you can, you're probably screwed. There's way too much stuff over here for us to deal with. You got banged up a bit. Yeah, these Terminators are a problem. Okay. Do you by any chance have a shot? No. I thought we might be able to hit the Rhino. You also don't. Unfortunately, if I want to move that way, I've got to go all the way back around and down, and these guys are kind of slow. Kind of reposition here. A little bit more to the left, but I don't think we're going to be in range of anything anytime soon. Probably not until they get to, like, here-ish. Even moving over. Yeah, no shots. I need you probably to head over. Let's just start going. Do you have to pay attention to facing um, just because you do have front, side, and rear armor? So if something does show up, like a land speeder comes roaring in here or something, I want to have my front armor facing up. All right, let's see if you can take out the Rhino, if we can get close enough for a shot. Because he is already banged up. Not very much damage. All right, you're going to have to do it, or we can have Death Copter go for it. I hate moving the Death Copters in because they are so fragile. Almost anything can kill them. Well, that wasn't a very good shot. Neither was that. All right, we're getting some pretty crummy shots off here. Just gonna have you move in in the back. So if they move in some more, we might get a shot off there. Fortunately, I think we're gonna have to use our war bikers here to hit the rhino. We've got multiple rhinos. Neither one has anything in it. I do have a shot here at the Terminators, and that's probably going to do... Well, do more damage than just about anything else I have that's going to hit the Terminators. Let's see what we can do here. Since we do have armor penetrating rounds here, I'm just going to light them up, and we're going to run away. Fortunately, we can't run very far. Can't quite get into grenade range there or anything. Um, could start trying to head in here so we can maybe grenade the Terminators if we can move up. These heavy weapon teams in the back are going to really tear me apart. shot from here. I'm not sure. It's 45 is pretty awful. That's kind of open. That's sort of open. So they'd have an, actually kind of a, a straight open shot back to here. 
which is dangerous. The red's kind of showing where I'll get shot if I move. <laughs> hey, just looking over. Sun Ganoof is here, hey man. Yeah, shoddy orcs is shoddy shots are what the orcs do. Yeah. I'm gonna see what I can see from here. Nothing much. Yeah, try to get as close as I can. If we can engage them in close combat, I can do some good damage. Okay, land speeder down. Unfortunately, we've got terminators and heavy bolters. And a dreadnought. And missile launchers. Alright, what are my chances? 35 is not good. 80 is okay. 60. The 60% shot here isn't terrible because these guys are kind of weak. Let me just see what I can do. It is at range, so we might get some damage fall off. Tiny bit of damage. Okay, you guys. Um, I could go charging in, but we're going to get shot by everything on the way, and it's not a good idea. Um, you are almost dead, so we might as well get some use out of you before you die. That's my chance back here. 80 is not terrible. I think we just keep hammering the Terminators. Why is this lower than... Maybe because they're close. It's only 60% to these guys out in the open, but it's 80% in the back. Hmm. I think the Terminators are a bit more dangerous. And I can actually do okay damage here if I hit. Wow, both actually hit. It's amazing. It's an orky miracle. All right, back off. Actually banging up the Terminators. Um, I can kind of get around and avoid getting shot if I want to get closer. See how close I can get. They are sort of standing out in the open like idiots here, unfortunately, though. 100% chance to hit. That's 70. We're not going to do much damage there. That's 90. Let's go for the missile team in the back. If I can drop at least one of them. That's a no. All right. Too much damage fall off, probably, at range there. So they're going to absorb a lot of fire, probably. Try to bring in my faster units here. Kind of next turn, we'll have some units that can kind of help out. Uh, the rhinos here could actually take out my death copter if they want to. They might try to go for the bike as well. I wish I had some targets for my artillery or my super cannon. All right, up here, we, looks like we're just going to be able to freely walk up and grab this objective. They're not contesting it or going for it at all. And I kind of expected they'd have forces come down from this objective right at me, but so far, nothing. How about... There's really no cover here. All right, let's have you guys take a look. It doesn't look like anything's there. So let's have you head over. Storm boys, let's get moving over to that left flank where we're kind of screwed. Flash gets. I'm not sure I want to advance here, honestly. Uh, that's at least cover. Just kind of hopping cover to cover here temporarily. So we'll see if anything comes. If not, we might be able to go up and grab that, although it's probably something guarding the objective. Probably. Yeah, it's just everything. Seems like everything is just throwing it at this flank, and unfortunately this is where I was weakest. And we've moved everybody, so unfortunately, time to go. Uh, probably he's going to die. Probably my death copter is going to die.
trying to get into close combat with my knobs? They are! Kill him! Hit him back! Come on! Come on, guys! Alright, that was okay. Missile team's still there, hanging out. So I still go for them. Dreadnought charging in is not good. Now he's going to shoot him, probably. No, okay. All right, well, the missile team is hurt and sort of exposed. The dreadnought's going to be a problem, but I do have my armor penetrating rounds on my war bikers, so I'll probably go for them. We are shaken here now with this squad. I do have storm boys as well, but if we move in here, we're probably going to get shot on the way by something. He's got the bolters here sort of covering. Uh, you're on the objective. Often does this where the wreckage ends up on top of the objective, and then I've got to destroy it. Hmm. I can kind of freely move in here. Get some shots in from there. Not that it's a fantastic location. You can try to free them up. We've got a 100% chance to hit the Terminators. 100% on the Marines. 80%. Let's go in the back a little bit here. At least soften them up. Spread a little bit of damage around here first. What can you get to? Anything? Probably not. If I want to get shot, I could get to something. Who's going to shoot me here? Uh, the Terminators, they're actually not shaken or anything, so that's why they've actually got an Overwatch shot. Alright, I can fix that. Probably. Might want to keep you here to deal with the Rhinos. You're probably going to need to go for that Dreadnought. I don't think I've got a lot of other choice. I can at least get a flank shot on him. Hopefully get some shots off and then run away. Oh yay, we've got a venerable dreadnought over here too. Just what I wanted to see. Alright, suck some damage. Yes, son of a bitch. And now suddenly they have got better arcs of fire for some reason. Uh, go back. Can't get away that far, unfortunately. Could bring you up, and we could grenade the Terminators. Let's do that. I have a crack grenade. Um, that appeared to do nothing, so I guess I'll just shoot him a little bit. Which also apparently did nothing. <laughs> Hey, we did some damage. All right, there, we finally got him. So now he doesn't have a reaction shot. And we'll go hide. No, don't grenade yourself. All right, my other... Where my other storm boys? Somewhere. Where did I put them? I'm still here. All right, let's head over. All right, now I can kind of move in and get some shots off that I can hit in the process. 110%, that's a 90. Do some pretty good damage here. Nice, good job. We are stuck in position though. Super weak buggy. We actually have shots. Fire everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, do we want to have Kleba ammo? So it's sort of painting the target, makes it easier to hit everybody else. That's not bad. More DACA doubles your attacks, but this is just a war buggy, which sucks. So I'll take the painting the target. Because I do tend to scout with them. So we can kind of scout, paint a target, run away. I'm going to head back over. We'll have to destroy this wreck so we can take this objective back. Well, not back. I didn't have it in the first place. To take it, they just kind of swooped in and grabbed it from me as I was moving towards it. Um, I'd like to keep you alive, potentially. That would be a good thing. So let's just do what damage we can. Say goodnight. Um, I could take a shot here if I miss, though. I'm liable to hit my own guys. That's not great. I don't have other shots. Can I hit this? No. All right, you're kind of stuck then. Fine. Do I want to hit them in close combat? Or shoot. I can just kind of freely walk away and shoot them. In close combat, he might hit me back. I don't like the idea of being hit back. Still have my death copter. Uh, that's also potentially risky. Let's see what kind of a chance I can get for the shots. All right, we can't miss, so that's fine. No, we didn't do any damage at the second shot. But we did soften them up a little bit. All right, let's try for the close combat. All right, good. Killed them off without him getting a shot back. I'm going to take cover on the wreck of your own vehicle. I'm going to take some crappy shots at you. Yeah, I didn't actually expect that to do much, but I thought we'd at least do one point of damage. Got no shot. Um, actually, could I take a shot at the cover? I can. And I might miss and hit him. Let's just see where it goes. Alright, that was worth a shot. Okay, so we almost have this under our control. We've taken out most of the enemies that were there. There is a heavy bolter team that backed off somewhere. Um, and then they've got this venerable dreadnought who's going to be a bit of a problem. Probably my war bikers are going to have to deal with that. The rhinos here are a little bit of an issue. Let's see if you guys can get any shots on them. That's a no for you. Take the objective. Let's go in a little closer and see if we see anything else. Do have that marine objective there. Still 80%. Let's go a little closer. Oh, uh, what's that? Flamers. Okay, flamers are fine. Meltaguns might be more of a priority. Okay, one rhino down. Let's go for the rhino, I guess. At least something. You, of course, have no shots. If I want to get closer, unfortunately, this cliff, I've got to go all the way around, which kind of sucks, but I think that's what we're going to have to do. Unless they come at us in a big swarm here, having you here, it's just going to be too far away for a shot. My range isn't fantastic with these. Uh, let's see if it even shows me. 14? Yeah, I mean, that's not... It sounds like a lot, but honestly, when you start counting it out from all the way back here, it's probably only to maybe here at the most. I could do that just in case he moves forward here. I'm not going to get a reaction shot with him, but I might get a chance to get a hit on something if he advances down this hill straight at me at this objective. 
So yeah, I guess we'll leave you there. We'll have the super cannon come around. You're fine. All right, I've got these two as well. You did take a little bit of damage, but not too much. Could probably get hits in on the flamers. Don't have great angle. I'd like to get around to the side or the back of the rhino if I can, but I want to be able to move in, shoot, and back away in case there's other stuff around. We could also take shots here. Um, we're not going to do a lot of damage, but it's something. Yeah, we'll just get here for now. Yay, four damage. All right. Heading more this way, because I think we'll have to really gang up on this Dreadnought here next turn. So it's really tempting to move out and maybe get a shot at the Flamers. I could probably just shred the crap out of them. I'm not sure if I'm going to get vision of the Rhino from there. Probably from up high I should. He's probably going to target these guys. Let's see if I can draw anything else out that might be here. It's 70%. 90%. Yeah, we're going to do more damage to the Flamers. Let's go for them. I didn't kill any of them. It really hurt a few of them. So we're kind of trying to force them to come at me here. Got your reaction shot ready. All right, doing okay on the left. Now, anyway. And so far, we are seeing nothing out here where I expected the main bulk of the force to come kind of straight at me. There's nothing. So let's just march towards that marine objective. Still don't see anything. Probably has no idea I'm here. Because we haven't seen anybody yet. I'm going to take it kind of slow and cautious here. Keep them sort of together. Can maybe kind of get in on the flank. That's everybody. So we'll actually have more objectives. All we have to do is destroy this wreck, and then we can take this. Uh, there is an objective kind of hiding back there, but we're kind of pushing in a little bit on the flanks over here. It's probably just going to hit my flash gets. It's taking a lot of punishment, though. No, well, going for the kill can, all right. Where are you going? Oh, you want a better angle. Gotcha. Let's see if the heavy bolters come popping out on that side too. No. All right. Okay. I need to destroy this wreck. You're not going to do much anyway, so let's have you come in and try to take it out. Take that back. All right, let's look around a little bit. There's heavy bolters somewhere over there, at least there were. So now that I've got that Cleva armor, let's go ahead and paint the. Uh, Venerable Dreadnought here, so everyone's going to have a plus 20% chance to hit it. Not that we're going to do much damage with this, but anything helps. Okay, you guys are the ones that have the melt bomb but you're pretty far away. I'm not sure I want to leave the cover of this. See what kind of shots I can get. 80%'s not bad. Just not enough damage. Okay, 
get shots from here. Didn't even notice I shot him, all right. Two hole damage. We cover that direction. Ah, oh, crap, we found heavy bolters. I should have just gone up here and looking for them, I could have shot him up. Instead of taking ineffective shots at the Dreadnought. So the heavy bolters are a bit of a problem. They could probably just kill these guys, and I used all my movement. Um, I could come over and try to get some shots, but I don't think because of the angles we're going to be able to see over there. And it just exposes me to the Venerable Dreadnought. Let's just keep throwing stuff at the Venerable Dreadnought here. send you over potentially to help out against those heavy bolters just not this turn well, let's bring you in should be safe here we can't get seen maybe jump in and use the melt -a bomb next turn maybe my best damage dealer is going to be my war bikers here who have the armor penetrating rounds um, I can even get around to a flank shot or something with them. So you... I could probably even bring you over and maybe get a shot back there. I'm not sure. Let me see if I can get a shot from here. Nope. Nope. All right. Yeah, he's not even, like, noticing half the stuff I'm throwing at him. Which is unfortunate. I'm just not doing enough damage. Alright, it's kind of all up to you guys. Um, if I move out here, we're kind of stuck, though. So I might just want to move in a little bit. It does mean we're going to be hitting him in front armor. Because it's kind of a 90, maybe from here or here. It might be... Be counting it as a flank shot. Maybe. It is a little bit ranged, so we're probably not going to do as much. Might be some damage fall off. Oh, that wasn't bad. Yeah, armor penetrating makes a huge difference. I really wish I had more guys who picked up the smash of ammo for armor penetrating rounds. Fighting Marines, it's almost like you need it. Especially for things like the Dreadnoughts and stuff. So take those hits, and then we are going to back off and hopefully not get killed by him. Hopefully far enough away he can't see me. Most likely he's going to go for you guys. Unfortunately, you can't do much to him. I could shoot him up a little bit, but it's not going to do much. And I don't think from here that I'm going to see the heavy bolters back there. And it kind of exposes me a little bit. At least here I've got this wreckage kind of blocking. You have a 100% chance to hit, so I mean it's not terrible. We're just not going to do much damage. We might wreck his morale. Actually, what's your morale at? No, it's barely been dented at all. Um, I guess we'll just stay here and just light him up. Hoping we get even a tiny bit of damage. Yeah, that was nothing. Literally nothing. Yeah, that was something. I'm going to not use my special ability because of the cooldown on the extra shot. So we'll save it in case they move in and we can try to move up and then just light them up with maybe three shots next time. So hoping between the melt -a bomb here and these guys, we can take him out next turn. Especially if he moves in, we'll be able to hit him. So you don't have a shot. So yeah, even here, we're not hitting, going to hit that rhino. Let's try to get you somewhere where you're useful. Where would that be exactly? Probably here-ish or up here. We've got to go all the way around if we want to do that. Probably faster to get up this way, so let's go that direction. I'm sure we're not going to see anything. Yeah, really far back. All right. Here in the center, 
Already got a shot at the Rhino. Just gonna move in and see if we see anything else. Looks like it's it. There we go. What I like to see, dead Marines. Do I want to push in any more? What's your chance to hit? Yeah, we'll just stand here to shoot. Might send the killer cannon, especially if we can finish these guys off. All right, you're going to stay put. Let's have the killer can walk in a little bit and see what we can see. All right, more flamers. Yeah, just shoot them from there. That was not very much damage. But I think we've got a pretty good core here that we can hold. Seems like there isn't much. I'm kind of wondering, since we're not seeing a lot of Marines, if there's going to be reinforcements dropping in on us here soon. And over here on this flank, we still have no visibility of anything. So if you guys keep marching in... Nothing. Flash kits. Uh, let's just go here for now. Still nothing. Stay on the edge, just trying to avoid being seen if there's anything around. There's probably something holding the objective. Yeah, you're staying put. You've got no targets, so that's fine. Although it kind of feels like a waste having you here. All right, we're just going to see what happens. Um, probably the heavy bolters back here are going to be the biggest problem for me. If they move up, I might get some shots in on them, though. Okay, he is moving in. So my storm boys might be able to make it to him with the melt -a gun, the melt -a bomb. No, oh, going for the Deathcopter. Barely survived that. Alright, somebody shoot him! Oh, are you going for... Oh, you're going for both. Okay. Actually, lucky none of the units there got killed. Okay. You, I can definitely get out. I can get to a flank shot for sure. I'm just going to go for it here. Doesn't seem like there's a lot else around. Did get vision of Terminators there. That's a problem. All right, shoot this guy. We might be able to just kill him off of them. Yep. It's the power of the armor penetrating rounds. It makes such a huge difference, especially for high firing uh like any weapon that fires a lot in a turn, it just makes so much of a difference. It's insane. I don't know that we're going to see anything else there. Um, look that way. Do we look that way? Probably that way in case they come out. All right. Heavy bolters do get a reaction shot. But... I can get some hits in on them first, and if I can trash their morale, they won't get a shot. So that would require hitting them. Good job. Such a good job there, guys. Alright, uh, go there. Try to hit them. Somebody shoot them! Well, and of course, when I want to move back, I'm not paying attention to pathing as much, so I get shot. Fine, be that way. Alright, that's cover. Let you guys shoot the crap out of them, hopefully. There we go. Didn't even need my extra shot. Let's 
So let's take a look around. Uh, you're almost dead, so let's just be aggressive. All right, we've got a pack leader, we've got blood claws, and another pack leader. Still have the war bikers. I still have the mega knobs. I still have the dreadnought here. Actually, can you see anybody now? No, too far away. All right. Let's see if we can get a shot back there with you. That's a no. I could shoot this. We might miss it and hit somebody. Just give it a try. I'm trying to use Orky inaccuracy for my benefit for once. Almost. All right. You can see, and we can tag stuff, right? Or was that the other one? Yeah. Let's see about... Um... Fire everything. Oh. So tag you. Tag you. Could take an extra shot. I might as well, because we're just not going to survive very long. Okay. I might want to take that position with the war bikers. So, oh, that's going to block my movement. That's a no good. Okay, go there. For now. You guys... Let's shoot through. We might hit both that way. Okay. Soften them up a bit. Pull back. You're sort of screwed. Actually, go that way. Death Copter, let's look that direction. Got the Storm Boys as well. Let's start heading in with you. Knobs on the march. Okay, how far can you get? That's all blocked, so that should be a fairly safe spot. Uh, if he comes around, he'll have vision here-ish, but we can just grab this spot. Next turn, we can hop up, toss some grenades around. Maybe use them to grab the objective if we have to. Let's send you in as well. All right, in the center, we've got Terminators in the back. That's a bit of an issue. You, of course, can't hit anything, right? No. All right. Super Cannon. Yeah, no shots. Try to bring him up, and we'll try to get some shots off here. Hopefully, I can at least fire once during this mission. Okay, you've got shots at the Flamers. I'm not too concerned about the Flamers, though. You've got shots at the Flamers. Those are Storm Bolters. All right, that's dangerous. How do you not have shots? Are you just out of range? Okay. Let's bring you in. See if we have some long range shots. Um, kill the unit or hit the Terminators? Let's kill the unit. Now we'll start softening the Terminators up. If we can hit them. And let's not go too far. But we'll try to draw the attention to the killer cans instead of my fleshy infantry. See if he'll actually come out from there. Probably not. Really wish I could move down here. 
I don't think there's any point really keeping this unit here. Moving them is kind of pointless too, because it's going to take me so long to get around that it really won't matter. So I'm just going to leave them there. So we'll continue sneaking around on the flank. It looks like it might be empty. I'm not seeing anything. I'm just going to leave him there. We'll move in further next turn. That is all. So we just have the Terminators. Um, we've got just kind of an assortment of stuff back here. All right, they are coming out. They're going to go for the Flash Gets, I'm sure. Yep, yeah, that's not a surprise. All right. Okay, death copter. Let's go there. Oh, there's actually more stuff back here than I thought. More than I could see before. We've got bolters, we've got melta guns. That's all dangerous. Try to just spread a little bit of damage around with you. Actually, miss. I'll move you back later. Um, let's see. I can't move through there. That's too bad. All right, hit and run is what we're going to have to do here. Just going to avoid getting shot. And can you see anything here? Yeah. All right. Kill a couple guys off, run away. That's the whole battle plan. Storm boys. Can I move in here without getting... It's going to try to throw me over this, which is not what I want, because then we'll get shot. So we can sneak in here, toss a little stick bomb back there, we'll take our shots and we'll just kind of run away. They are just little crappy bolt pistols, so yeah, it's not going to do a ton of damage. And just head back to the same spot. You're probably not going to see anything, but we'll go ahead and on in. Same with you. Let's go a little wider. I might get a shot at something. Yep. All right, we got some shots at the bolters. Um, that was pretty bad for an 80% shot. There we go. That was better. Move the death copter when we don't need vision back here. I still have my war bikers. I'm able to get in and get a shot at something. We could also go for the terminators. That's probably better. You are so close to being dead. All right, you guys uh, will have to go through here. So we'll start moving. My other storm boys. I think we're just going to move in and we'll try to hit them next turn with you guys. Got a nice little safe spot there. Death Copter, probably the same. We'll move in so next turn we can kind of jump in and get some shots off. Let's go up high. Shouldn't be able to be seen here, I don't think. This wouldn't make any sense. All right. Yeah, it's probably all I'm going to do over there, but I'm going to leave that Death Copter here for a second. Um, let me see what I can do as far as damage to the Terminators before I use them, and we'll kind of see. If we take out the Terminators, 
then we can use them over to the left. If not, we'll use them up here in the Terminators. I don't think we're going to be able to kill off the Terminators. It seems pretty unlikely. Does seem like that's it that's guarding this, though. We don't see anything else. Kind of moving into point-blank range and getting the shots off. You're already pretty close. Actually, let's check our artillery. Nope. Uh, let's see what we can do with you. Let's go up high. Oh, we can see. Nice. Not much damage there for those shots. Surprisingly low. You have 100 piercing. So it should kind of ignore most armor. Alright, if we stay here... Yeah, more than 100%. We don't have to move at all. Let's just shoot from here. So we can return fires. Not too bad. Okay, you guys are not going to do a lot of damage here, and you're going to get lit up. 120 right there. Hmm. All right, let's take a shot and see where we can move to. Let's see how well the shots go, actually. Oh, uh, that's not bad. Um, they're broken. One of them's almost dead. So if we shoot him again, we should probably take out one more. Let's just shoot him. All right. Still two of them in pretty good shape. Um, I'm going to hide behind my kill cam. All right. I think that's kind of under control because we also have these guys here. Because we can bring them in as well if there's nothing on that objective. That's debris. Okay, so we can't move through that. We'll have more firepower on them soon. They are broken. They move. They're going to get shot by my killer cans. I think that's all right. So let's bring you over and let's do some damage on the left. I can probably wipe out both of these units here, the bolter unit and the uh, melted guns, especially if I get close. Is there anything else around I need to worry about? Not really. All right, let's go for you. Instant death. And you blown off their feet. It makes so much of a difference having that armor penetrating rounds. It's so nice. All right, you've got one little pack leader left. Might try to come into close combat with me. Just gonna set up an arc on him, hopefully. You, let's back off. Grab the objective on the way. So he'll probably move in to try to retake the objective. And that is it. So if he doesn't get reinforcements here soon, this is going to be over pretty quick. They're running away! Uh, just enough firepower to take him out. He didn't go for the objective. Don't know where he's going. No reinforcements popped in. All right, you can make the objective, so just go for it. It's all cliffs, so we're going to have to get through the debris or around behind to get up there. Not spotting anything else. 
Uh, I'm just going to start working on destroying this cover. Not that it really matters that much. Alright, this might be the last marine unit they've got, is the uh, commander over here. So, who wants to kill the commander? How about my bikers? Oh, you don't have a shot. Alright. I don't want to move adjacent to him. Let's go behind him. Shoot him in the back like heroes. Hey, that's it. Alright, he was last. We only lost one unit. I think that's the lowest I've ever had for death toll as the orcs. So who did we lose? Um, did we lose a death copter? My buggy buggy died, right? Yeah, maybe just my buggy died. So yeah, not too bad. We only got one upgrade, though. Um, we've got, so yeah, three more skirmishes than the last story mission for the orcs. So, so far, this is doing pretty well. It's got 18 marine units. So not bad. Not bad at all. Um, we'll kind of see how things go in the next few. Um, I'm not sure about schedule or anything, but I'm going to try to knock out these last few skirmishes um, and then trying to schedule the story missions it takes a while sometimes because they are really long. We did one yesterday that was like four hours, or two days ago that was like four hours. Um, so scheduling for the story missions is kind of difficult. These shorter ones for like hopping on for an hour or something isn't too bad. But uh, that's going to be it for me. If you're interested in the Space Marine campaigns, all that is up on my YouTube channel, um, older streams and some stuff that I record and just throw up there directly. You can check out. It's also Disturbing Puppet. Um, if you're interested, check it out. Thanks a lot. Hopefully I'll see you all again. Thanks, Sun Ganif, for coming by. Hopefully I'll see you another time. Have a good one.